Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today I have a hair tutorial for you guys. And I know you're like, hair tutorial, hair tutorial, hair tutorial. We wanna mix up all the content. It's coming, I promised. Nonetheless, I am committed to getting it together to give it to you guys, as I've mentioned. And also, again, I really, really wanna get back into the cooking and the cooking tutorials because hashtag mom life. I feel like I've had so many responsibilities these last few years that like I've definitely put like cooking on the back burner and it's just been so much easier to like get takeout and all of that which again we'll talk about all that on another day i really want to give you guys this wig because i've been wearing this one all week as like my third one take my son to school wig but i'm ready for something new so today i'm teaming up with chris b now i think this is at least my third time um working with this company i may have worked with them even more than three times and today they sent me a two-in-one wig um she is a 14 inch bob with 200 uh, percent density which is a very full density and as you guys can see she kind of looks like she could be like a blowout right this is a wet and wavy wig i know it looks like a yakky like straight but it's a two-in-one so you can straighten it out and have that yakky straight texture and then you can uh wet it down and then it'll have that wet and wavy curly looking texture i do have a code with them it is ashley 15 and you'll get 15 percent off at checkout but let me show you guys really quickly it did come set as a center part. And here is a look at the inside construction of the cap. Really nice. I love the fact that the lace look like it's gonna go very well with my complexion. So let me go ahead and take this one off and put this one on. They did give us tons of goodies. These are some of my favorite lashes. And every time I work with this company, I get excited for a fresh pack of those. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Now this is what the wig looks like on. We're gonna do step one, which is obviously to bond it down. So let's just speed through that. Always try to pin the hair back and out of the way if you can. It just makes for a quicker or even an easier install if you don't have like hair and flyaways in the way. Um, also, if you wanna pluck the hairline, this will be a great time to do so. You already know I'm gonna keep it beginner friendly for you guys so that you can follow along. So I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, me sit down to the girl, my life be like, yo. Never looking at you. As I'm talking to you guys, I'm just cutting off all the excess lace around the ear. Also, the lace is, um, they give you a lot of excess lace and I can't see. So now that I've done that, I could take like tweezers and I could go in and like pluck out the hairline, um, really good. <laughs> Jag 
Just for me to leave, just so I don't take it Okay, so I went ahead and did a little bit of a press style, blowout style situation with this one. You guys know when you're working with a Yaki Texture wig, a lot of the times, you know, each one is different based on the company, but majority of the time, whenever you press out a Yaki Texture, kinky, straight texture wig, it's gonna come out with a blow dry press opposed to like a silk press, which is actually what we're going for and as i mentioned this one is 200 percent density and it is a 14 inch bob so it's giving very 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 long bob but again this one here is going to be a two in one so basically you can wear it straight like this i'm going to continue with the install and then we're going to show you um how it looks when you wet it up so that it can get curly but before i take the lace off um or the elastic band off let me go ahead and blow dry it on a hot setting just to make sure everything is dry underneath so when I cut the lace it's perfect the sun is going down now been at it for a while and I have had enough of this I doubt that we can solve it been trying for so long and I just can't ignore that it won't ever be the same no we will never be that good dynamic duo really quickly the knots are not bleached on this wig so i highly recommend that you bleach them just for a more permanent effect you can also kind of like feather in some along the hairline to kind of give the illusion that it's a little bit more um tweezed in the hairline than it really is because again this is concealer so it's gonna camouflage and cover up imperfections or whatever you want it to cover up just like it would along your skin if you had hyperpigmentation you get the opposite side of that brush and add your powder got it setting two thermostats to 78 degrees Now that you guys see what the hair looks like when it is straightened, know that I really love it and what makes it so beautiful and unique is the, the beautiful cut they provide. I also opted to push one side behind my ear. If you're an OG, you guys know that I've always loved to have, especially with shorter cuts, even with longer cuts, one side tucked behind my ear. I don't know why, it's always my right side and I just like the way it looks. I almost don't even want to wet it down just because... I'm feeling it, but I'm gonna take this last bit of my Nairobi mousse and I guess it's time to see what's gonna happen. If this bottle works, I might have to use some water. I think I'm gonna have to use some water. Too hard before, you're not that special Just give it up, I think I've had 
had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter what you do Guess I have to tell you again Cause you haven't got the news But you really need to understand That I don't wanna be your Okay, so this is what it looks like when you wet it down with the mousse. Very easy to do. At first, um, I started just with the mousse and I was like, uh-oh, I don't know if this is going to work because it wanted to stay straight. But I mean, my hair does the same thing. If I silk press my hair and then I get in the shower and try to um, wash it, for the first few minutes that my hair is under the water, it still remains straight. So by the time I went ahead and added actual water, um, and then even a little bit more mousse, I started to see the curl pattern. I'm gonna do this side now so that we can get a final result and just make sure everything looks good. And there will be a judge and see, but I wanted to give you one last look at a texture shot of what this one looks like. And again, she is 200% density, 14 inches. So she's nice and full, but not like overbearingly crazy. Okay, so that is pretty much the name of the game with this one. Absolutely love a good wig that you can get your money's worth, your bang for your buck with. And this is definitely one of those because again, you can wear it straight or you can go ahead and wet it up and you see just right before your eyes. I didn't have to do anything crazy or go to the sink and co-wash it. I could literally just use a couple of products that I already had right in front of me. And you guys can see how beautiful and defined the curl pattern is. They did set me off with some goodies. Now, I love this pack of lashes that I always get. Also got a new shower comb, which actually this is gonna go in my shower because I've been sharing one with my son from my shower to his shower because I can't find my any of my other ones, so it's perfect to have. Some clips, which you guys know, these are my favorite for pulling my hair back while installing my wigs. They included some, um, an elastic band with that adjustable bra strap situation. Wig caps, which I need. And then a pack of assorted color flexi rods. You guys seen I use my powder and concealer to finesse. And I do feel like I need to go in with some foundation to buff it in and fix it. But I feel like it's not that bad off, um, in my opinion. You know when it's looking a little bit white casty, I just would like to add a little hairspray to kind of bring back my color at least. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really don't have any complaints about this one. Again, if you want to bleach the knots, definitely an option um, to make the wig look a lot more realistic. But for me, this one actually worked out super awesome. Go ahead and check it out in the description box. I have a link there with all the details that I've already shared with you in this video, as well as list and links of everything I use to complete this look. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're loving the content on this channel again my birthday is this month september 18th and the best birthday gift you guys can give me is to go ahead and subscribe to my channel because it will help me out so much and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches don't slip on a trip